Okie dokie folks, we are back with more of Xenoblade Chronicle X post game and we're continuing the Affinity Missions. Now we're about to finish up Bose's mission. Bose's Ignorance. A word of caution about this mission. The indigen you'll be hunting is extremely dangerous. It's already injured several Pathfinders. Yes, I heard Sidon and Mundo. All the more reason to do our job as Harriers and end this threat. That's my sensei. Damn straight. But what are you doing here, son? Licking my wounds after getting pummeled by that same beast, sensei. Okay, how could this have happened? That's mighty kind of you. I wish the people on my team felt that way. Full of mercy as usual. You're on the path of the Buddha. Now tell us about this creature. How did the fight go? It wiped us out in one blow. And not to brag, but I've been around the block once or twice as a curator. But I swear, I've never seen anything like it. That thing is a monster. Then we've got something to look forward to. We've been fighting nothing but Xenos lately. And I'm sick of it. The classic test of strength sounds perfect. Man against beast. I'll forward the coordinates where we fought it to your comm device. I know you can handle anything, Sensei. But this thing has sent several Harriers straight to the maintenance center. Please, be careful. Worry not. We'll have you avenged in no time. We'll send this beast to Nirvana, friend. We ride! Indeed we shall. And our mission, we need to head to Caldrose's Infernal Ledges. Let's move out! And yes, last time we completed HB, the Butts mission, and now it's time for, well, his turn. Bose. I'm concluding all these stories one by one by one. And hopefully by the time everything's done, I will be moving on to doing a series of quests to get the last character. There is one character I forgot to recruit. And pretty soon, it's going to be a good time as ever. All right, we reached the caravan. Everyone to your skulls, because this fight's going to get ugly. Now let's find it. And pray that we don't have to deal with any other trouble. Especially stuff that are like level 60 worth. Right there? Wait, it's not under, then it has to be... Over? Hmm, I'll have to look into this. Besides, I don't like it. Or is this it? As long as we don't attract any of the hostiles, we can get out of there in one piece. And truthfully, I'm not getting near that. Especially one enemy that is such a pain in the butt to deal with. It's so annoying. This is it. I know I'm at the right spot, but where can it be? Or do I have to take a different approach? I've tried going over, and I've tried going under. And so far, nothing. The infernal ledges, they say. And this is what they meant. Alright, let's land. Oh man, we're gonna be in for trouble. Nice, we also explore the infernal ledges as well. Sweet. There's somebody there. Oh, uh, are you Blades? Who are you? I am prone of Tree Clan. I am no enemy. Well, then why are you here? Ganglion took my family, holding them prisoner up ahead. Please, stop them. Save my family before they die. Sorry, we're in the middle of a job. Go ask your Xeno friends for help. 
Let's move out. Looking at this thing just dredges up memories of Clarissa. Let's go hunt the monster we came for, and reclaim the good name of the Harriers. But listen, that's not Blade-like. Our job is to help anyone and everyone that is in need. Did you forget the sound of Clarissa's screams when she was killed in cold blood? All prone share responsibility for this act, no matter which clan they claim. And yet you want me to help this... thing? You wish me to hold back my anger? To forego my hatred? I understand. Allowing the gangland to kill again would put me on equal footing with them. Thank you. Ganglion are camping just ahead. Please hurry. Please hurry and... Huh? What's this light? How? How do mere humans possess a jamming device of this magnitude? This. It's the transmitter that Manon we rescued gave us. Curse those meddling little worms and their blasted technology. Ugh. You wasted my perfect performance and my precious time. Well, speak of the devil. Are you so curious about me, primitives? Then I will tell you a secret. You will die here writhing in pain after unimaginable torture. Welcome your death, primitives. No man on trinket can save you from the painful end that awaits! You know, if there's anything that you should know about Painful Death, it's the fact that we have what it takes. And we're gonna do it our way. Yeah, we're doing it in a manner that's gonna be more fun this way. And you're done. Have a nice day. What just happened? Did that man on save our lives with this? Hmm. It matters not now. Let's focus on the mission. I won't allow myself to be distracted because of some Xeno. It may be distracting, but it saved our lives. So in my honest opinion, be grateful for that. Oh dear. We're gonna be in for quite a ride, so for the time being, let's return to our scales. Provided that it can actually fit in the cave. Oh wait. It can't. Which stinks. Okay, fine, then we're gonna have to do it the old fashioned way. At least it can make things a bit easier. But whatever we do, we don't fall to the lava. Yeah, it helps. Nice. Made it all the way. At least this can help regain our health. And we got another charge cane. We only need one more. We can complete like a regular mission. Now we gotta time our jumps. Oh my god. Really? Ghost Walker. True streaming edge. Yeah, I'm keeping my distance here so that won't be easier. So I only hope the rest of the crew are okay. I only pray they survive, I only pray they survive it. Because to me, I can survive anything they throw at me. And I'm just hoping I can reach 3000 so I can deliver the coup de grace. 
and then show you guys the fruits of my training and everything. Let's demonstrate! Ghost Walker helps add decoy and it makes you completely unstoppable. Rhymer. Rhymer. Rhymer again. Let's ramp it up even further. Yep, we're at the max. And I can't move an inch. What the heck? Get me out of it. And the damage becomes extremely painful. Very painful, very destructive, and very worth it. And I could do Primer three times. The results, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, isn't it? Namo Abitabaya! That monster put up a respectable fight. We had our share of detours, but the job is done. Let's head back and give Eleanor our report. Yeah, we pretty much took down the bad guy. And acquired some neat rewards along the way. But I swear, I didn't really see that coming. But at the same time, you all got to see what I'm capable of. By having Primer, Ghost Walker, etc. They help increase your overdrive time and make you more powerful in the process. It's perfect. Ah, oh, nuts. Gotta make sure everyone's on dry land. Because if not, we're, we're done for. Very good. Stone Lens. Right around here. Yeah, I'm taking the time now to explore and just clean up what remains. I figured. And nice, we also got the spicy new steak mission completed. That takes care of it. Though I gotta make sure I have one of every item to complete the checklist. And I think that also contributes to 100% completion. Ah, oh, no. My timing on the jumps are off. Very off. Much better. Now we take the jump once. Nope. Oy. I hate it when I have to take risky jumps like that. It sucks. Okay. Then we'll just have to take a round. And swimming in lava is not good because you lose health. Yeah, next episode is going to be Yell's Affinity Mission. And I'm getting really annoyed by all these different jumps because this sucks. Alright. Nice. Made it at least. And there are two treasures, huh? Alright. Found this here. And this one gives us more. Alright. But what did it really give us? Demon Bear? Well, isn't that special? We got more experience. And we got more rewards. 15,000 credits. And another file. This must be a new scale weapon. And a mining probe G10. That thing's a rare beaut. This can pretty much help us reach like 100,000. 
for the Prague Ares 90 because my best friend Tony has already gotten almost everything he needs. And a Mechanoid Criticals up 13. That helps. Yeah, now let's find a way to get out of here. We did everything we could, so yeah. Mission complete. Next stop, the Administrative District. Time to report to Eleanor and call it a day. So yeah, what did you guys think of the technique I did with the overdrive? With it being possible combined with Ghost Driver, it gets ridiculously insane. And maybe this can help me complete the then and now mission because before I had a really hard time. Even with a scowl. Hey. Alright, let's do it. Welcome back. How did the mission go? Well, we were ambushed by a strange Xeno, but a gift from an even stranger one somehow saved us. I can't tell whether to feel thankful or curse the lot of them. Well, what's your take on all this? Well, I believe we should respect the Manon. <laughs> hmm. That's the sort of debt a man cannot easily repay. His kind are different from the Xenos who attacked Earth. Perhaps I'd lost sight of that. It seems hate was the only thing I had to fill the void in my heart. I've been a fool. And I've failed as a sensei. This isn't like you, Bose. If anyone else said that, you'd shout at them until their eyelids peeled back. Sensei! You're back! Safe and sound! I've been looking for you. I have a message from a man on named Jejeba. A message? He wanted to know if you were alright. Something about a device responding? He seemed really worried. Got me rattled just listening to him. We barely met. And he cared that much. I feel like I finally found Satori thanks to that man on. Uh, you found what? Satori. Enlightenment. I realize that I've been hiding behind my friend's deaths. I'm sorry, Reggie. All this time I've been lecturing you, but I was no better. Uh, no problem? I I'm just really glad you're okay. Jejeba will be too. Hmm. I'm glad to hear it. Maybe I'll bring him a Buddha statue from my collection as a little thank you gift. <laughs> it sounds like you found some real clarity, Sensei. I expect even greater things from you two going forward. But for today, you've earned this reward. I have to agree. Things came along nicely. And at least now, H... I mean, Bose finally found some closure. We also learned the Sniper Rifle Arts Slayonette. And with it, Bose's story comes to a close. And that'll be it for today's episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Next time we're moving on to, I believe, oh yeah, Yelves. We're going through all of them one by one, and then pretty soon we'll be tackling the quest chain to get Mia. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to hit the like button. It really does mean a lot to me, and I'll see you guys next time for more of the Xenoblade Chronicles X post game. Peace out.